this video looks at scatter graphs. This graph shows the test scores of a number of pupils. So, for example, this dot is a student who got 20 on a maths test and 30 on a science test. So when the question asks how many students were there, you count the dots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 dots, so there are 8 students. Now what's quite obvious, I think, from this graph is that generally, as the students score higher on their maths test, they also score higher on their science test. So this type of correlation is called a positive correlation. If the graph went down, that would be called negative. If the dots were all over the place, that would be classed as no correlation. Now we can draw a line of best fit which passes through the dots. Now we don't worry about the origin, that's a key misconception. We get our ruler and we draw a line through what we perceive to be the center of the dots. There's a room for error here. There's not one perfect answer on a GCC paper. So I draw my line in the way that I think best goes through as many dots as possible. So again, the line does not start at the origin. It passes through the center of as many dots as possible. Now I can use that line to estimate. So for example, if I knew a student scored 50 in science, I could estimate that pupil's math score by doing the following. Now it's important in an exam to do this properly. So I get my ruler and go to 50 on the science score. I then draw a line across from 50, a very visible line, until I hit the line of best fit. I then draw a line down to the maths. And at this point here will be an estimate for that student's math score. Now normally you'd have a better scale on your axes, but I can see that's roughly 36. So a student who scored 50 on science would expect to score roughly 36 on maths. Now two other key points here. I have gone within the data set. The dots start here and end here. I have used the line which is within the dots. That's called interpolation. It would not be realistic to go beyond the dots. So for example, if I use the line to estimate a score over here somewhere, I have gone beyond the range of dots. And that is called extrapolation. Interpolation is quite reliable. Extrapolation is less so.